What's going on guys, gonna be playing some Pokemon Showdown today, again in the OU tier post DLC with this Ursa Luna team. Ursa Luna is currently being suspected and I've actually not used it yet since uh, since the DLCs come out. I've faced it plenty of times, but I've not used it. There's just been other things that I've wanted to use and I figured I should probably try and use it in OU before it gets banned or it doesn't get banned with the suspect. Um, I believe ends on, on Friday. This should go up before then or this will go up before then. But yeah, so I built this team around it and I decided to use the Calm Mindset with uh, Vacuum Wave with a little bit of speed. I believe this is like the more, it's more offensive set. I do kind of want to have Moonlight on it still. I've considered changing it just because there's been at least a few games where it's like Moonlight would be really nice. But Vacuum Wave still seems pretty nice and I wanted to try it. And like I said, I haven't used it a whole lot. So that's why I'm just leaving it as it is right now. But overall, I've had a lot of fun with the team. We built it on stream or put, finished putting it together on stream and got some games with it that I may include in this video. But either way, we're going to get some games right now with it as well. So uh, let's just go over the team real quick and then we'll get into the games. We have Calm Mind, Earth Power, Blood Moon, Vacuum Wave. Earth Power and Blood Moon are its stabs. Earth Power is very strong, but Blood Moon is even stronger. And it's, <laughs> it's Gigaton Hammer, except in the form of a normal move. Um, and then we have Vacuum Wave, which is priority. But something to keep in mind is Ursula has this new ability that's its signature ability, Mind's Eye. Fighting moves and normal moves hit ghost types. Its accuracy can't be lowered and ignores evasiveness. I guess if Pokemon were to be able to increase their evasiveness, I guess like a Contrary and Amorous on a Defog, it gets uh, the evasiveness increase, I guess. That's pretty much the only way in singles that I know of or that's coming to my mind right now. But Mind's Eye is the or the beginning part is the most significant part. It's basically scrappy and it's a special attacker. So it's pretty scary. Both of these types usually though would be types that you can kind of switch around. Like you have flying types that are immune to earth power or levitate users and then ghost types that are immune to blood moon. Uh, with this ability, you don't, there's not the ghost immunity anymore. Uh, so they can just switch around earth power and blood moon you really can't switch around it because it's it hits so hard, especially with this huge special attack stat that's as high as an amorous and a calm mind boost potentially is really strong and i like the offensive spread too because you'll be able to like deal with dondozo um i like the offensive spread and then terror fighting is to boost the vacuum wave so all right we got rillaboom rillaboom i thought paired well with it nicely because it can give it some extra recovery with grassy terrain from grassy surge and we don't have moonlight so that seemed kind of nice and it can be a like a, a physical wall breaker and it can also pivot into our ursaluna uh, this is the same set uh, that I had ran, or a very similar set to, that I had ran before, um, except they changed it to Terra Steel. It seemed kind of nice to be able to like resist ice, um, resist poison, different coverage moves like the Ogre Pond. It's got water and grass, and then it may go for the Fairy or Dark move. Terra Fairy would be nice on this as well. That's what I had it as, but Steel seemed kind of nice. I haven't Terra this anyways, but I wanted to try it. And then we got Empoleon, who's new in the DLC and got access or came with flip turn but its ability also got a change so it now has competitive i did mention this in the um aurora veil team that i'd used empoleon in um with agility but uh competitive is kind of nice uh we have rocks and stats can be lowered from random moves and stuff so competitive is just nice uh we don't have a water move so torrents pretty much well actually we have flip turn but being able to get a boosted ice beam is pretty nice versus sticky web that's a thing the random moves that drop your spadef or like defog so we just have rocks max spadef ice beam for coverage flip turn for momentum and roost to heal up oh and roost is new that's the other thing it's new and um i had terra fairy but i changed it to terra grass i haven't terra this anyways but terra grass seems pretty nice to resist ground electric um you actually then resist grass which right now you're taking neutral so then we got mole trace enough speed out speed jolly king gambit with Flamethrower, Brave Bird, U-Turn, and Roost. We don't have will o because we have will o Bond, or Weezing. Um, and then Terra Water, just to be able to resist water, you can resist, uh, keep your Steel Resistance, which is nice. Uh, otherwise, it'd be like Terra Fairy for King Gambit, but I thought we don't have will o anyways, and that seemed kind of nice versus Rain, like the physical attackers on Rain. Uh, being able to Terra Water, this seemed nice. So yeah, but we have a, quite a bit of momentum. Three, these guys will have U-Turn, and same with Dragapult. And then we've got Weezing, who is new in the DLC and I wanted to try out. Uh, with Neutralizing Gas, it actually negates abilities like uh, Toxic Heal or Poison Heal. And Golden Go's uh, good as gold. So you can defog on a Golden Go, I believe, right? 
uh, abilities have no effect. And then you could also, if terrain is up, you can switch this into a Gliscor, take reduced damage from their earthquakes, and then they'll hurt themselves with uh, with the poison heal. And they don't get the grassy training since they're a flying type. Uh, you can't s completely just sit on a in on a Gliscor since earthquake will still chip you down, and we have boots instead of leftovers because of this being our defogger but um it's still kind of a fun thing and this is something that's really good versus webs uh especially if rabombi doesn't have psychic that i have to keep in mind i've already played pretty poorly versus that but this is nice versus webs because you can just defog uh and ignore their golden go so and then terra flying to have a ground immunity but we have enough speed on this to be able to outspeed king gambit so you can outspeed um an adamant king gambit and get a will-o-wisp off and then Strange Team is our only attack and then Pain Split for some recovery. I wanted, like, it, it could be Taunt here or Toxic, but we have no recovery on it otherwise besides the train. So I think I liked Pain Split. And then we just got a Specs Dragapult as like a special wall breaker with Terra Ghost, uh, standard Dragapult, but something that can kind of do some strong damage initially without needing boosts. Obviously the Ursa Luna can do that, but I think they kind of complement each other and he can pivot or it can pivot around as well for the team. So that's sorry, too much, probably too much of a of an explanation on the team, but I'm excited about the team and hopefully we can get it to do some work uh, as we go into the games. All right. Well, let's lead with Dragapult, I think. We can Draco. It is pretty important versus uh, Zamazenta, but all right, we're just gonna go right into Rillaboom or uh, Fred. All right, no burn. We could U-turn as they go Zapdos and paralyze ourselves, um, but they also could go Iron Moth. I think U-turn is the best play. And then we can go Ursa Luna. Gonna get a good amount of recovery here. They will be doing quite a bit though, but I think this is probably defensive. So I think we can. Uh, I think we can call mines. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Ursa Luna. Let's go! Oh, come on! I wanted to do. I wanted to use the guy, man. All right. Well, that that's been happening. All right, we're up against Veil, so they don't have a golden go though, so we can't just defog their uh, thing. And even if they did, we could do it technically. So, um, um, but what would they lead with? They have Sinrays to court change rocks would be nice for the uh, nine tails but i don't know if we need enough rocks anyway so probably just try like defog um oh yeah we will ignore their screen but they do have a dark and a normal type um yeah i just really don't want to let anything set up that'll be pretty rough Maybe I possibly just lead with flame, th uh, Fred and flamethrower. Or we could lead Dragapult. I think we'll lead Dra uh, Fred because we could just flamethrower this then. And then we can U-turn out the following turn. That's a nice burn. Um, so now it's... It's not a 2 k yet. We'll U-turn, though. As they switch. Okay. I think we possibly just go Dragapult. Um. Because if we defog here, they're going to get a Tail Glow. And it's going to be bad. So maybe we go Dragapult and... Just go for a... Shadow Ball? Yeah, this is really bad. Then we go, so we're gonna hit through their screen, right? 
that's what that's how infiltrator works infiltrator yeah but if we stay as a dragon type we're dead I'm trying to see how much damage we're gonna do if they happen to have ice beam oh we're not dead we're pretty close to dead though all right well hmm Do two Dracos take it out? Two Dracos do. All right, we're just gonna Draco. Okay, cool. That's honestly best case scenario because we have more answers for this than other things. So I think maybe we go... Um, I really want to defog here. I'll go for the... They could just be special. Oh, they're physical. All right, cool. I'll, uh, I think we definitely just defog then. Uh, their screen was probably almost gone anyways. I probably should have just wisped. Whoops. Well, let's see. Do we just get on cord? Nope, we get frozen. Even better. All right, so... I mean, they don't have Thunder Punch, so. Yeah, we can't do anything about this now. Just go Moltres and uh, go for a Flamethrower. And it looks like this is pretty much a roll. Should I U-turn? Because if we could get in our uh, Kong, a Brave Bird. Cool. Darn it, I wanted them to attack me that I could knock myself out though. All right, well, they're gonna get this. Do I Roost and then Shadow Ball or Draco? Let's say I think I just flamethrower. I'm a roost. I don't think they would uh, hard switch into something. All right, now we can. Let's just U-turn and see what move they have. All right, they have Take Heart. All right. Um, best play might be just going in this and Terra Ghost. I just need them not to be able to sweep me. All right, well, that works. All right, King Gambit's in. We still have vacuum wave for this. Um, I think we go Fred. They get burned right away. And we shouldn't die. All right, they SD it again. We de definitely die now to a uh, sucker. But well, we can roost again. Oh, well, they do that, so they get us. <laughs> I think we just vacuum wave. Cinerace. Um, I think we go Empoleon and flip turn. All right, they're getting really unlucky. Um, this could have a sucker punch and then, uh, 
Basically, the Ursuline is still pretty scary to me. They haven't turret yet either, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll go into this. And... We'll just earth power. I I don't know what the heck, man. I'm, I feel bad. I'm not trying to... It's obviously very unlucky. Alright, that was just a very unlucky game for my opponent. Alright. Another try against Manaphy and uh, offense. I think we'll lead with... Hmm. Could lead with wart and just go for the earth power we will get poison though otherwise though it's just like i i'm not going to be able to do enough with my special attackers i don't think like i could i could go dragapult and shadow ball twice actually that might be enough for uh glamora I just if they uh, have dazzling gleam, I don't really want to. Ah, uh, we'll we'll do that. Then we don't have to deal with toxic spikes. I'd rather nothing else get poisoned, so we can just shadow ball twice. Let's see, do they have dazzling gleam? All right, so they get up rocks, and then they go scarf and amorous. I'm guessing. I think we go into Empoleon. They could Earth Power, but they Moon Blast. Spatak drops, Spatak Rays. I think we just flip turn. All right, in comes Manaphy. All right, I can go Rillaboom. And probably SD. Or I just Grassy Glide or Knock Off. If they go right for Ice Beam. I don't know how much damage. It'll do a lot. But we're going to get double leftovers. I just want to ba basically be able to... Threaten them out, which is what happened, so. Um, Iron Moth. There's no way we're killing this, right? Nope. All right, I think we go Empoleon. We have the train now, that'll help a little bit. And I'm a Roost. Right, we'll flip turn and see what they have now. All right, their tail glow. That's good to know. I think maybe we go Dragapult. And Draco, just to get as much damage on them as we can. Okay, and then we have to go Ursa Luna first. I literally had a game very similar to this. Um, I go Ursa Luna and Vacuum Wave. And then I can finish them off with Rillaboom. If I tear up fighting, we still don't kill. I'm pretty positive. Yeah. So we just Vacuum Wave and then if we do 14%, then they get another, so then they'll be at 13. Then they'll get another six. Then they should be in range of Rillaboom even if they Terra Grass. Yeah, they should be in range of Rillaboom. Oh, 
Okay. Now, they're going to get double leftovers if they go back into, into uh, Manaphy here. And I need Rillaboom, so I can't, like, stay in here. I could go Fred, I think. Okay. We'll flip turn. Break the sub. Okay, now I feel comfortable going for it because we have Brave Bird. We're gonna take a lot, but it really comes down to Rillaboom. Like, maybe it can do this. And also, them kind of resetting their train turns. Okay, they sack Manaphy. Are they specs? If they are, I think we may live, unless they... Terra? This could, we also never saw their item on this and it seemed like it was spec, so it might have healing wish. So maybe we have to go Empoleon right now. It's just if there's some some sort of setup, it's uh, pretty pretty problematic. All right, let's see. Do, how much did they do though, if they are specs? Okay, we're, we're dead. But I lose if they sub or, or, or SD, I think. Okay. Well, we're, we're, we do die to this now, but... Dragapult, DD, Terrifier. Plus one. Oh, plus one. There we go. All right, we actually do live this. And can knock him out. Potentially. It is what it is. No! All right, we're alive. Okay, now it's a double down because of the crit. I think Sire, because it's safe-ish. Alright, I can either Roost or Flip Turn. I think we need a Roost. No, frick. Alright. We have Ice Beam, we just have to spam that. If I tear a grass and ice beam and they sub, then uh if I tear a grass ice beam and they sub, then I lose. If I ice beam right now and they just earth power, then I lose. So I have to do something. Alright, we didn't lose to this. All right, then we'll... Do we just click rocks? Or do we flip turn? I think we click rocks. I think our best bet will be SD right here. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, if I uh, just attacked... I didn't think that through, I don't think. Yeah, I should have just ice beamed an Amorous. 
All right, Ursuline looks pretty good, though they do have the uh, Garchomp that's probably like Scale Shot, and that's pretty scary. I think we'll lead with either Dragapult or Ursaluna. We'll lead with Ursaluna. All right, they're on a Balloon. could go Fred and U-turn. It's a little annoying. Okay. Then we can go Siren Ice Beam. The Earthquake probably kills us though. Now we'll just go Wart. We'll blood moon. Or we earth power into blood moon. Vacuum wave. Alright, now we can go Sire and flip turn, do the same thing. Excuse me, I don't think we would die. Alright, cool. And we go wart. And we can call mind or we could we'll call mind. Uh oh, darn it, I was hoping they would go like Hydreigon or something. Plus one. All right, now they have to hit another Magma Storm. Whoops. I didn't need a Terra there, obviously, but uh, that's what happens when I'm going back and forth. I guess we, I mean, we resisted rocks anyways. All right. Um. I think we just go Fred. If they do Rapid Spin, they have a chance to burn. Nice. And we'll Roost. And... We'll Roost again. We'll U-turn. Go Weezing Defog. Weezing's not like particularly great, so if they infestate or anything like that, that's like not that bad. And we'll pain split. Then we'll wisp. Then we can go Ursaluna and hopefully Earth Power this. If they Terra, were were, whoops. If they if they Terra, uh, they wouldn't have died. But Dragapult. With the full health, Fred, I think we're okay. So I think we just go Sire and sack it. And they are special or uh, physical. I mean, oh, and Life Orb. So Fred may be able to just win here. Go Fred and go for Brave Bird. And... I think I just Brave Bird again. I'm going to knock myself out, but... With Great Tusk Burns... We, uh, it's, it's dealt with pretty much. And they've still not terrestrialized. So we're going to flamethrower. In case they happen to do something. I think we go Kong and 
U-turn. Well, that did a lot. Go into the wart. Go for the vacuum wave. Have they tarot? I'm pretty sure they they never tarot. Well, wart got a bunch of kills. And I teared it on accident too. That was nice. Well, I think um I think that's about it on the games I'm gonna get live right now, I guess. Um I did change a few things from from when I had sh uh, recorded on on the stream. This was Terra Fairy, this was Terra S I think these were both Terra Fairy actually. And then um at some point I changed this from Terra uh Fairy to Water and got rid of Will-O-Wisp for Brave Bird. And this used to be max defense, max HP. And I, at, at one point I changed it to outspeed Adam and King Gambit. And um, yeah, besides for that, same team that used on the stream. But um, overall, I think those last, we did get a few games um, the la at the end the end there where Ursulina did some good things. Um, one where it was just a forfeit and then one where Ursulina was just kind of like killing things in that last game. So. I'm curious to know, like, what do you guys think about the uh, Ursulina ban? I'm not the best judge myself when it comes to, like, what should be banned and whatnot. Um, I have read some of the things, like, that Finchinator has wrote and, like, in that little whatever forum thing on Smogon. I definitely, you know, it is different than King Gambit. It doesn't, you know, King Gambit doesn't have Moonlight, uh, for one. Um, and it also doesn't have a, mo a move like Blood Moon. Um, King Gambit does hit a lot harder as the game progresses, but... Ursa Luna has like this kind of nuking move um, immediately. So, um, and also it has Calm Minds where King Gambit doesn't have bulk up. What else has been banned so far? I guess Ogre Pond, the fire one has been banned. It's very different than Ursa Luna though. Backscalibur was banned. Still pretty different than Ursa Luna. Like not saying it's, they're not both very, very strong or broken, but it's just different. Like King Gambit is kind of similar in that it's slow and it has a very high attack. Or special attack and is is bulky um and it has a little bit of priority but either way i had fun with the team and if you're interested in trying it out I'll put a poke base in the description there will be some shorts going up with this around the time this goes up if you want to see some more ursa luna um games or games with this team and i think that'll be it thanks for hanging out and i hope you have a good one peace